progress we've seen since the last update is likely going to be the most aggressive we'll ever see throughout this entire project, if I had to guess. There's just been a staggering num number of stations added, and uh, this period that we've been going through over the past several weeks has seen just as uh, exceeding expectations with the number of stations that have opened. Let's go ahead and get into the update. Before I do so, I want to call out a couple of uh, viewers who have submitted uh, site visit videos. And the first one is Evie Richard, the Van Orme, Texas location. Uh, both these will be linked down below in the description. The second is Arkansas EV. He went to the West Memphis, Arkansas pilot. Here's the uh, progress that we've been seeing. And as you can see, the staggering uptick in number of stations is unparalleled throughout the timeline of this project. And when it's going to stop is really anyone's guess, but right now we're at 104 stations open with the number of stations that are spotted under construction actually starting to dwindle because they've just opened so many damn stations. This is the update, and I shrunk it down a little bit, um, the font, just so it'll fit, and I think this, judging from where my picture-in-picture picture is, I think this fits. Okay, so I put this legend in at the request of one of the viewers in my last update. Anything that is a green check mark is open. Anything that is a red X is currently under construction. The blue ones are proposed locations, and I just basically cover those over. And every single blue um, lightning bolt uh, pip um, is locations where they built into. There's been no instance where they built a station that's not a blue pip. So those blue pips are definitely indications of what their intentions are. Okay, Fort Worth, Texas opened on the western edge of the Metroplex. Van Orme, Texas, as I mentioned, which is in southern San Antonio. Black River Falls, uh, Wisconsin, which was the one on 94 that uh, was waiting to open, is now open. Additionally, a sleeper site called Franksville, Wisconsin, north of Chicago, south of Milwaukee on Interstate. Um, I think this is Interstate 94 as well. Um, I'll have to check. I don't recall what interstate that's on. Might be 90. Okay, Okeechobee, Florida, down here near nothing. It's near Yeehaw Junction, if anyone's familiar with that uh, Fort Pierce area of the Sunshine State Parkway. Smith's Creek, Michigan, near the border with uh, Canada, Toronto. And all the ones in Ohio, I didn't put arrows in. There's just too damn many of them, and it was starting to get really messy, so just... A whole bunch in Ohio. Let me just call these out real quick. Belmont, Cadwell, Franklin, Jeffersonville, Miller Sport. So basically everything that was spotted under construction in Ohio is now open. Many of those being Nevi sites. Cadwell, Ohio is open. Jerome, Idaho. I'm sorry. Cadwell, Idaho is now open. Jerome, Idaho, now open. McCammon, Idaho is the other one. That will be the fourth one because we already have one of the ones that is uh, opened up in 2023 that is um, still open. So that would bring the total to four. And as you can see, there's one additional one that is uh, not spotted under construction yet. That would be five in total for the state of Idaho. Shelbyville, Indiana, which is... Uh, the arrow got moved. So it's this red one over here um, on the way to... Cincinnati from Indianapolis to Cincinnati is now spotted under construction. Selena, Kansas over here, second one in the state of Kansas has been spotted under construction. Buffalo, Texas right here in between Houston and Dallas. Bakersfield, California. This is not on an interstate. That's uh, one of the few locations that is actually not on an interstate. And Stanfield, Oregon up here in the northern portion of the state of Oregon, under construction. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. The price has come down just a little bit after going up a slight tick last time. We're now at 56.6 cents per kilowatt hour as an average price for the entire network. The high prices are listed here, and there's actually more in the 69 cents. So they've obviously put a ceiling of 69 cents as a top price and a, a basement of 45 cents for the lowest price. And so a lot of them cluster in those two locations. And then there's the rest of them kind of spattered around the, um, the pricing in between. 
This is what we have open 104, so whatever people were guessing for the end of the year, we're now on a pretty <laughs> ferocious pace. I, I guess we should probably do a new, new uh, poll to see what people think now that we're in the month of December and uh, we're past 100 to 104 open. 46 spotted under construction. As you can see, the number spotted under construction is really starting to dwindle. And as you'll see in the eastern time zone, uh, the number under construction has really uh, dwindled to near zero, and there seems to be a shifting towards the central time zone, Pacific, and um, mountain time zones. Central time zone has 40 open, 20 spotted under construction. Eastern time zone has 55 open, 13 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has 5 open, 9 spotted under construction. Pacific has 4 and 4. Texas is still the leader with 21 sites either open or spotted under construction with Ohio shortly uh, behind it with 18. Georgia has nine, Kentucky and Pennsylvania have eight, and then a whole bunch of sixes and fives. I was thinking of actually spreading this out because the number of states that actually have uh, four and three is pretty significant as well. And I was starting to feel as though that was warranted to call out, but I just don't have the real estate on this slide. Interstate 40 is still on top with 15 locations. 75 is uh, not too far behind. And then all the other interstates are really starting to fill in. Specifically, 90 and 80 are starting to fill in pretty well. In the world of Nebi, anything that is new has a check mark in the first column. And this is broken up into two portions. It just didn't all fit on uh, the slide, so I had to break it up that way. And as you can see, in the state of Ohio, everything is open. Uh, they did a good job of pushing to the finish there ahead of any regime change in Washington. I don't know. We're not quite sure. <laughs> Regardless, that's the update we have for this time. I'm going to roll the slide that, that shows all the canopy locations, both open, spotted under construction, as well as the full data tables. Thanks for watching.